So GoodNotes has made the update from four to five and they've made a lot of great changes and just wanted to take a few minutes to walk you through some of the basics uh, so that you can get started whether you're new to GoodNotes and just starting with five or you're moving over from GoodNotes four to GoodNotes five. So I'll start by going through some things on the main screen here. Then I'll move into some of the basics uh, within a document and then we'll also dive deeper into editing mode and the various tools that are available there. So starting here on the main screen, you'll notice that this looks pretty different from the last version of GoodNotes. We actually have folders now. You can choose to see them as folders or as a list view. Um, but basically this is a little more similar to you know, the folder structure that you see everywhere else. And I think it is quite a bit more intuitive. So I'm happy that they made the switch here um, and you can nest folders. Uh, it's, it's just a lot easier to stay organized when you're dealing with a lot of um, different categories or documents here in GoodNotes. So that's your document view. There's also a really great search feature throughout. It shows you your recently opened documents. Um, and then one thing to highlight with the search feature, it's not just looking at type text, it's actually recognizing text. Um, this is all text that's, that's embedded within uh, PDFs not text that I typed in. So um, the search is really smart in that way and I think it's gonna be really useful. And then for favorites, this is basically any page that you've chosen to bookmark. Um, you're seeing them all here across all of your uh, GoodNotes notebooks. So jumping back into this main screen here, you do have some setting options. You can definitely go through these in more detail. Um, two that I would want to highlight for you is in settings, make sure that you have uh, the iCloud sync turned on just to make sure that your data is backed up. Um, and you can also back up your data at any time as well. And then also here in settings, they do have a trash bin feature, and so if you ever accidentally delete a page, um, specifically I get this in my planner if someone deletes a page, you can actually go into the trash bin and restore that page and it goes back and the links still work and everything. So um, it's really nice to know that it's forgiving in that sense if, if you accidentally delete something. So moving on within this screen, you do have this new option here. And so you can bring in, uh, you can create a new notebook, create a new folder. You could just bring in like an image or, or use your camera right from here to snap something. Say you had a whiteboard you wanted to save. You could snap that and it would just save it here for you. You can also import. Um, that's how you would import something like uh, one of the planners or uh, other external templates outside of GoodNotes. You could use the import right here. But the new feature that I wanna highlight for you is QuickNote. So you can click it there, or if you just double tap right here, it creates a quick note for you. So you can see it just opens up this blank note. And right from here, you could add in, let's say we wanna add in some text quick. Um, pick up dry cleaning. So say I wanna just add that as a reminder. I'm out, I'm on the go. I wanna have this show up on a different day of my planner, but I don't have the time to actually sit down, open the spread and add it in in the way I want to. So I could use my quick notes here just to really quickly save that. And if I go to, if I just click like back here, it's gonna allow me to just save it. And you can see it's just sitting there. And so then what I would do is later in the day when I have a chance to actually sit down, I can go in, I can open this up. I don't even have to, like if I had handwritten this out, um, I don't even have to like rewrite it. I can just grab it straight from here and drop it in where I want it to go within my planner. So I really think that this is a great feature for those of us um, that are digital planning because there's times where you need to just quickly make a note on the go and that's really where I see the gap between digital planning and productivity apps like um, say your Google Calendar or um, to-do lists and so GoodNotes has really helped us bridge that with these quick notes. You can leave them here and then um, come back later and add it in wherever you would envision that note actually living within your planners or your notebooks that you have created here. 
So that's the last thing I wanted to highlight here on this home page. Now let's go ahead and click on one of these documents uh, to jump in so I can show you some of the things that you can do here within a document. So here we are within a GoodNotes document. This is actually my dated digital planner. And I just wanna show you some things that are fairly consistent and some things that have changed with the navigation here. So we'll start with the top bar and then we'll get more into editing mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and toggle editing mode off here. You can see I still have the tabs uh, open to show me any document that I have open and I can still click the X to close out those tabs. Here in the middle is just your basic information on the document you have open, and I can change the title right here. Now starting over on the left, this back arrow would take me back to that main screen of GoodNotes. This uh, kind of four tile brings up the thumbnail view of the document. This is the best place to go to uh, organize your pages, to see how things are laid out, to make sure that you're adding pages in um, the right area. And you can see uh, there's actually this really small down arrow. You actually have this on the main page as well under your folders. This is how you control um, things for that specific page or back on the home screen, how you would have controlled um, that folder. And so this is where you can see you could duplicate, you could export. Um, so there's some quick actions there just hidden under that small arrow. If we jump over to favorites, again, this is where you've chosen to bookmark a page all of the pages within this document that you've bookmarked are gonna show up there. And outlines, um, this is specific to the imported document you have. If it had an outline, it would have shown up here. So moving over, you have your search function. And again, similar to what I showed you on the home screen, but this is just searching across that document. And this bookmark button, you can use this if you're on a page and you realize you want it to be bookmarked. Uh, you can just click it right here and that's going to bookmark it for you. If we open up thumbnails, you can see now this page has been bookmarked for me. And then this export, it's a square with an arrow pointing up. I can choose to export this page or export the whole document. Now, if you're ever exporting, um, remember you can export as an image. You can also export as a PDF. What that's going to do is take all of the changes that you've made across your document, um, kind of flatten them. You, it won't be editable anymore, um, but obviously a PDF is the most universal file type that you could share with anyone. If you want to leave it in a GoodNotes format, then it's going to be editable by other people. It's going to be exported as a goodnotes.zip file. And so all you would do is then import that into um, GoodNotes. So say you, say you wanted to share something you were working on with someone else and have them be able to edit it, you would choose a GoodNotes file. Moving over then to the right side here, we have our plus button and this is to add a page. So when you see image, camera, import, this is where you'd go if you wanna add an image as an actual page, not to add an image on top of the page. And um, a great thing about the new version of GoodNotes is they have a lot more templates, a lot more cover options. Um, so those will be fun to experiment with. One note, if you're pulling in a GoodNotes template, into something like my planner that has your navigation elements all across the pages, those new template pages wouldn't have the navigation here. Um, so certainly can be a great option if you're looking to create a custom section with very specific templates. Um, but if you want the navigation to be consistent across the entire planner, you would wanna use one of the page templates included. So I'll have a separate video all about how to use those page templates, but just a quick note, that's the difference between this page template page and using these templates and the templates that are available right here, the GoodNotes templates. So then let's jump across here to the three dots. This is your more options menu. 
The, the more menu gives you, you the ability to quickly copy the page that you're on, which is really helpful. Again, I'll go into more detail of how to manage pages in, in another video. You can also rotate the page. You can change the scrolling direction. I like horizontal because it's kind of more of that page flip, but um, say you were past notability user um, or you really are looking for that vertical scroll, you can do that here. Um, and there are some other settings that you can take a look at as well, like the ability to jump to a different page in the document. So let's jump over then here to the middle icon. This is your editing icon. And so right now um, it's off and so I'm in reading mode and that's what gives me the ability to click on hyperlinks and to flip through pages. So when I turn editing mode on, you can see the whole screen changes pretty noticeably. You have this blue bar here to let you know um, that you're in editing mode. And at that time then, I'm not going to be able to click links anymore. So uh, just be aware of that. If your links aren't working, you're probably in editing mode. You just have to toggle it off. So next, I'd like to go through the specifics of the tools that GoodNotes has provided to us here in our editing menu. So moving down here to the controls we have when we're in editing mode, there are three main sections that I'll call out here. Uh, the first is the zoom window. So you have the ability to turn on the zoom window um, with any of the tools. And this just gives you a way to zoom in on the page and um, really deal kind of in details on the page. Now, I don't choose to use the zoom window very often. I typically just zoom in on the page when I need to, but it can be a great option just depending on how you like to work in GoodNotes. So then here in the middle, these are all of the various tools, just basically saying, okay, what are the actions I wanna take? What kind of content do I wanna to add to my page? Uh, I'll choose the tool uh, that's appropriate here. And then here on the right, this is just giving you the ability uh, to set the different settings for the tool you have selected. So this area will change depending on the tool you have selected. So under each of these tools is nested a bunch of different options. So make sure you take the time to tap and hold to see what the different options are that you have. Uh, the fountain pen and, and ball pen have been a part of GoodNotes before. The brush pen is new and I think it's a really nice option um, to give us the ability to do something that's maybe a little bit more decorative directly within GoodNotes rather than always running out to um, say Procreate or another app. So I'm still getting the hang of it. Um, but you can see that it kind of varies your stroke for you. And it's pretty nice. So I think um, it's something I'm gonna to continue to experiment with. Um, but here on the pen, as I mentioned, I could choose the size of that uh, stroke here. I could move it down, say, and you can see now it's more narrow. And if I wanna hold down, I can um, refine it even further. And then same here, you have quick uh, color selections, but if I tap and hold down, I can see any of the preset colors. I can even go custom here and add in a specific hex code. For example, if you wanted this to perfectly match one of the tabs in the planner, you could go to the question help page in the planner and see all the hex codes and actually type that in. Or for example, if you have a brand and you want it all to match, you could put the hex codes in right here. And you can actually save those hex codes to your presets, which is really nice. So let's move over from the pen here to the eraser. The eraser is just gonna give you the ability uh, to erase anything on the page that you don't want there anymore. And so, for example, I can erase that text I just added and you can always undo anything you've done by just hitting the undo button there. Undo and then redo. So for the eraser, I have the ability to uh, change what I'm actually erasing. Say I just wanted to erase um, the highlighted area. I can toggle that on and off here. Now we go to the highlighter and I do like the highlighter sometimes if I just want to add um, a little bit of decoration or obviously if I'm in you know more of a document studying something the highlighter is really useful. Same thing you can choose the highlighter color even down to custom colors and the nice thing about the GoodNotes highlighter is 
um, I mentioned about using it more decoratively. You know, if I just highlight this here, it, it pushes it behind the text. And so it's a nice way if you just want to add some color to your page, you can go in there with the highlighter and do that. Now the shape tool, I've noticed that this is quite a bit more sensitive in this version than it was in the last. So before, if I drew kind of any line like this, it would tend to just correct it to a straight line. In this case, it still makes it straight, but it leaves it on a little bit of a diagonal. So you just have to be a bit more detailed. Um, but overall, it gives us a little more flexibility to use this tool, even if we're trying to make a more abnormal shape. So I do find that tool really helpful. I use it often does circles for you as well. So you can see in the previous version, I think if I drew that circle, it probably would have gone to a circle. And here it actually makes it into more of an ellipse or an oval. Now this is your lasso tool. Again, remember that you can choose um, what you're selecting. This is really important if you're using stickers and writing on top of the stickers. You can choose whether you want to just select handwriting or handwriting and images or just images, text boxes. So um, definitely mess around with that as you need to. But I, I have it on to select everything. So if I circle this here, I could just choose to take a screenshot of that, resize it. I often end up needing to resize or reposition things. And then the other thing that's really helpful with the lasso tool too, we'll, let's see if this will work for me. Um, so say I am writing text here. It has a handwriting recognition tool and I've actually found it to work really well so far. Um, so you tap and hold and I would just click convert here it's actually converting it to text. And you can see, um, you know, I was able to decipher that and I could then copy and paste that here um, into a different area of my planner, into a different document, and you can even export it right here. So I still have a lot of experimenting to do around with that, but um, I think that can be really helpful, especially if you're in meetings or classes and you wanna take notes, um, but you need them converted to text for some reason. Um, I'm definitely gonna continue experimenting with that, but it's a great feature of GoodNotes. It worked well in the last version, and I find it to work really well here as well. So moving over here, now we have our options to add in photos. And so I can choose this one here to add an existing photo from my gallery, um, from my camera roll. If I tap here, I'm gonna have more options. I can even insert it um, from my files as well. Um, so if you had like a, like a PNG image save that you wanted to import as a sticker, um, you could do that either from your camera roll or from your files. I'm just going to cancel that out. Um, the camera, similar, but all this is going to do is open up the camera on your iPad um, to actually take a picture and put that on your page. Now the text tool, um, this is definitely improved in, the next, in this version, which is really great. Um, just tap here and type in whatever text you want. And what I do then is right from here, I could choose to bold or underline it. I could choose to highlight it and change the color, or I can open up all of the editing options by clicking the paintbrush right here. And this is where, um, you know, you can change the size of the font really easily. I do need to make sure that this is selected though. Can change the size of the font. And then, um, this is new, the fact that you can choose any system font, um, the flexibility here is really great, especially if you're someone who maybe has a very specific um, aesthetic or font choice, um, or you even just wanna do something more decorative, you now have access to all of your system fonts here, um, which, is, which is pretty uh, powerful. So that's great to see that new feature. I know a lot of people are really excited about it. So those are your main controls then here within GoodNotes. And um, it, they've really given us a lot of options um, to edit, add all different media, and uh, we're really excited about that.